So, you know, at Amherst College, you know, we had a year long probation for the school's nationally ranked men's lacrosse team and they fired the head coach, John Thompson. Now the probation was set to end on January 30, 2021, when the team had required to complete an educational training and other programs following an incident targeting a black teammate. Now the punishment comes out of several players reportedly chanted the N word at the black student as they who then punched the team made for using the slur during the March seven incident. Yeah. That brother, that brother had the fist of justice that time. He said, yo, you can come on and keep calling me that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you some act right. And that's exactly what he done. So the squabble was first reported by the student run newspaper earlier that month. And they say it marked the second report of a biased incident involving the men's across team within the past year. They say it's important for us to recognize and acknowledge that they're both use of racial epithets on our campus and physical violence caused this harm and not only individuals involved, but the community as a whole, according to the Dean of students, Liz Augusto, uh, they wrote in the email. And I say college leadership, including Armhurst president, Biddy Martin, athletics director, Don Falstick have since addressed the incident in a letter to the campus community on which one they highlighted multiple instances of troubling behavior by the men's lacrosse program. Now we know most of those men's lacrosse teams are white male. That's what they are. Um, there's not something that brothers really get involved with. Not say brothers can't play it. They got the one brother that's playing it. But the thing is, let me tell you, I, I just, I, I studied racism, white supremacy, been studying a long time. When you have a large group of brads, one of them, or in a group, they get bold. Okay. Now when it's not many of them, they don't get as bold with you, but it's just not many black people and you only black person there, or maybe two black people. There's a bunch of them. They feel, you know, emboldened to express their racism to you. I've seen it. That's why I don't like to be in no situation where I'm just stuck in a, in any in in area where it's not none of us. No, I'm not doing it because I already know the game. I know what's going on. Now they also say we realize that not every student on the men's cross team has actually participated in the violations that come to light. Not to say they did, but usually what happens is they will see it happening, but then they won't do anything and they won't step up. Like I said, it's multiple ways you can be a part of it. You could be a part of it by saying the N word and you can be a part of it by watching it and don't say a word at all. That means you agree with it. In my opinion, you just don't want to be a part of it. And that's what happens a lot, especially with, a lot of times with these folks. Now they said that the letter they added that the lacrosse players have been uncooperative in the investigation, <laughs> like they're going to admit anything uh, to the N word incident and players refuse to name the individual responsible for starting the racist chant. Just like I said, they're going to support racism, white supremacy. It is their religion. It is their belief system. That's what it is. So they said the coach had led the first, the team to a national championship game last year and was in the midst of the 10th season in the program before his firing has started that week. Trust me, they are mad that the coach got fired. They're mad about everything because really let's call it what it is. They believe that black men should not even be on a lacrosse team. They should be playing basketball and football, but let's call this what it is when it comes to college sports. Basketball and football carries the, uh, all the college sports within the area of money. Name me a time you gonna go watch lacrosse. I, I don't want to watch that crap. I mean, people ain't flooding to go watch no lacrosse uh, games. Then folks maybe, but black folks and, and then let's cut. Man, nobody cares about that. Show me a, pro, a league of lacrosse in the United States. They would say, man, I want to wear his jersey. Nobody cares about that. They just just mad that our sports are more popular. And when I say our sports, we mostly play football and basketball. Um, on, on those sort of things. But you know, this is the thing with that. They're not going to admit anything. They're going to cover for them for themselves. They white supremacy is a religion for them and, and they got to stay on code. Even if they may not agree with it, they better stay on code and stay quiet and not say anything else. So to the brother that dealt with that, I, I hate to hear that happen to him. I really hate it. But this is the thing. When you enter those spaces like that, you got to expect that or carry yourself in a way where they not going to even try you. But brother didn't put up with it. Brother went on ahead and, and laid the fist of justice on them. And that's good. And you know how that is. A lot of them get scared when, when they see a brother respond that way. They used to us just taking them. I don't believe in taking anything. I believe you to give you exactly what you give me, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation with the brother. 
that they were, you know, racially attacked. But, um, you know, brothers, sisters, be careful putting yourself in positions like that where you're the only black person or it's not many because trust me, they're going to try something. Uh, it never fails.